Hello everyone, Alex here from warnoffkeys.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create an invite tracker and this will help organize and track who has invited the most people into your Discord server and this can be used for contests or giveaways or other things like that. So I'm actually going to be making a command for this and I'll be using the new command based system that we wrote. If you don't have access to this, a link to this will be in the video description under the GitHub repository. Also a link to the video that explains how this works will be in there as well. However, knowing how it works behind the scenes isn't necessary to use it. So to get started, I'm going to create a new file inside of the commands folder. This will be called invites.js. Going to then export a very basic JSON object. And we're going to start with the commands. And I'm just going to have one, which is invites. Next, I'm going to have a callback, which will have one parameter, which is the message. And instead of here, I'm going to start off by destructuring the guild from the message object. Now we can use guild.fetchInvites, and this is going to return a promise, so we can use .then. We're going to gain access to the invites. Inside of here, I'm going to create an object. We're going to call this invite counter. Let's have this equal to an empty object. We'll fill in some data with that soon. After that, I'm going to use a for each loop, so invites.foreach, and we're going to loop through all of the invites. Inside of here, there's a few different things you want from the invite, but first let's console log what each invite looks like so we can get a better idea. I can run the bot with node index.js, and we see registered command invites right there. Now if I go into Discord and I run exclamation point invites, we then see a bunch of stuff is console logged here. If we scroll all the way up to whenever we see this word invite, everything here is the invite information. A lot of this is the actual guild that the invite is from. However, here we see uses is 51 and the inviter, and it says my name here. And so we're going to be able to see that when it comes to other invites as well, if you scroll up and down, but we want to gain access to the uses and the inviter. So inside of here, we're going to destructure some of the information. We're gonna have uses and inviter. We're gonna destructure this from the actual invite. And then we want a few more specific pieces of information such as the username and the discriminator. We can destructure that here. So we're going to destructure those from the inviter. And now to make sure everything's working, we can console log the uses, the username, and the discriminator. Now we can restart the bot. We can run invites. And we see a bunch of different invites. If we go into my server here and go to server settings and go to invites, we see some invites here. We've had more, but people keep creating temporary ones, so they do expire. And so that means that we can't actually access that information. But here we see the different uses, and we see that it actually matches up with exactly what Discord shows right here. So now with that said, we're going to want to actually add up all of these for each individual user. So I'm going to create a name variable. We're going to use a template literal. We're going to pass in the username, and then we're going to use a hash symbol, and we're going to pass in the discriminator. So this is going to be the actual name for the user, just basically combining these two, and this will give us something very similar to the actual Discord ID that you used to add friends with. Now going back over here into VS Code, we actually want to store this inside of our invite counter. So we can say invite counter index of name equals. Now what we want to do here is we want to essentially say, does this exist already inside of invite counter? If so, use that number. Otherwise, assume it's zero, but either way, take the result of that and add in the number of uses. So that might not make too much sense, but let's actually write the code. We're going to add in some parentheses and inside we're going to say invite counter index of name or zero afterwards outside the parentheses we're going to say plus uses which is what we're destructuring right here so essentially what this is doing is first we're going to look inside these parentheses and it's going to say okay does it already have a property matching the user that we're looping through at the moment if it does we're going to use that otherwise we're going to assume they have zero and then either way, whatever the result is of that operation, we're then going to add the number of uses that we're currently seeing for this invite. So now after this for each loop, we can then create a variable. We'll call this reply text and we'll set this equal to invites. Now we're going to loop through all the invites. So const invite of const invite in invite counter. And this is going to give invite as the name of the actual key. So to confirm this, we can console log the invite here. Now we can save and restart a bot. Going into Discord, we can run invites, and we see the actual keys. And so we just see two of them. Beforehand, I've created multiple invites. However, this combined all of them into one, which makes it a lot easier for us to use. 
And now I want to gain the actual count. So const count equals invite counter index of invite. And so this is going to give me 51 for me. And for this other user, it'll give them a zero because no one's used their invite link at the moment. And so we're actually going to want to concatenate this onto reply text. So reply text is plus equal to, we're going to use template literal. We're going to make a new line. We're going to pass in the invite, which is the key, which is basically the username, and then has invited, and then enter the count members with an explanation point. And then we can say message.reply with the reply text. So I can save this and we can restart. Going back into Discord, we can run invites and we see the current invites. So my user has invited 51 members and this user has invited zero at the moment. However, what happens if we have other members in here? We're gonna create some dummy data basically. We're gonna say Bob has invited 19 and Joe has invited 30. If we save these and we restart the bot, we can then go in and run invites. Now we see that this isn't actually in order. And so we want to go through and sort this. So now we need to actually sort through the invite counter based off of the value of the object itself. So right here, I'm gonna create a constant called sorted invites, and this will be equal to object.keys. And this is going to return the actual array that is just going to hold the actual keys and not the values. However, from here, we then want to call dot sort, and this is going to take in a function. We're gonna say A and B. This is essentially just going to sort through all of the properties inside this object based off of whichever one is higher. So we can then return saying invite counter index of B minus invite counter index of A. Now here we can console log the sorted invites just so we can double check that everything is working. And we're also using them, or actually we need to use them in here. So const invite of sorted invites, that should be the only change we need. If we save this, we can then restart. And now we can go in and run invites Okay, so I actually forgot to pass in the invite counter into object.keys. So if we do that and then we restart, we can then run invites. And we see that it is now actually sorted. So I have 51, Joe has 30, Bob has 19, and this user has zero. So now it is in order. Now let's say that we only want to show the top three people or the top 10 or whatever your use case would be. After we sort this, we could simply say sorted invites.length equals three. So if we save this and we run the bot again, we can then go into Discord and we can run invites. And now it shows only the top three people. So this is a very basic example of how to actually fetch the data associated with each invite and how to create a ranking type system using this type of command right here. Thanks for watching this Discord JS tutorial. If you want to learn more about Discord JS, consider clicking on the playlist you see on your screen now. If you need help, feel free to leave a comment or ask in the Warnoff Keys Discord, which can be found in the video description.